Hey guys, Frenzy Palace here, and welcome back to another Rebuilding Wigan Athletic Career Mode episode. In the last episode, it was actually a live stream, and as you can see, we played a few games. <laughs> um, we kind of lost. <laughs> we kind of lost um, four games. So if you haven't seen the live stream, guys, I highly recommend you go back and watch that live stream because, um, oh, it didn't even go very well. Oh, dear. We're now third in the championship, guys. We are third. Um, I don't know why that squad's on. We need this squad. We're against Huddersfield Town to start off today's episode. Uh, we're going to start Bennett at left back. We're going to start Niambi at right back. Obviously, he can go in. Um, we're going to start Edmund Screen at centre back there. Everyone else is all right to start. But, um, yeah, let's just say the live stream kind of didn't go as well as I wanted it to. But that is because we decided on the live stream, guys, I was winning way too many games on um, World Class. So we've upped the difficulty to a legendary. And, yes, I'm losing a few games. But it it's better than me winning, like, 4-0 every game. So, we're going on Legendary. We can win a few games on Legendary, don't worry. If it was too tough, I'd drop back down to World Class. We have, we did win in the last episode as well, even though we are on Legendary. So, we can win on Legendary. It's just, I think, more fitting for the range where we're going to want to be, really. So, right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Can we restore back to winning ways in this episode? I sure hope we can. Genuinely, I sure hope we can. Uh, like I said though, it, it's going to be quite tough considering last episode, or last live stream, shall I say. Yeah, we kind of lost quite a few games. But anyway, here we are. Brand new day, brand new episode. We'll start as we mean to go on and tell. Can you win that? Yes, you can. You've given it to Romo. Romo's given it to Lang, who nearly, nearly found Will Keane. The one thing in the last episode was... The defence was actually quite dodgy. I don't know why it was quite dodgy, but the defending of the team was a very, very questionable. So, we've got to watch out for that today. And right, tell what can you do with it? Look for Vega. You didn't find Vega. <laughs> I think you were actually trying to find Bennett then with that pass, which is certainly interesting. But right, come on, boys. Here we go. Romo, what can you do with it? You're giving it to Niambi. Here we go. Lang. Lang now on the ball, waiting for the run of Niambi. He's not going to make a run, but Keane has. Go on, Keane. What can you do, Keane? Will Keane bangs it! Oh, uh, it's an all right shot, I suppose. It's an all right shot. Giving it to Tell. Go on, Tell. You've got a bit of pace about you, Tell. You do have a bit of pace about you. Go on, Tell. You've glided past your man. Tell! Oh, it's a big save, guys. It is a big, big save there from the keeper to keep it level at nil-nil. But the ball's whipped in by Vega. Oh, unlucky Vega. Tell wins it. Oh, there's no one there though. Go on, Bennett, that's yours. Play it back to Vega. That's a good ball, to be fair, Bennett. Well done. And back to Vega, back to Bennett. Back to Luke Scott now. Romo, you've found Niambi on the other opposite flank. Niambi, oh, Niambi, you took one extra touch there. If you had taken a touch less, Tell would have been in. Here come Huddersfield on the break now with Simpson. He's off! He's not offside! Thomas has scored and it is 1-0 to Huddersfield, guys. Absolutely nothing happened in the first half. And at the start of the second, it has gone from bad to worse. We have conceded, guys, and it is 1-0 to Huddersfield Town. The boys need to get their finger out of their arses, guys. They really do. Because, I tell you what, if we keep losing like this, guys, Tenag won't be in a job. <laughs> the rebuilding Wigan, the whole point of rebuilding Wigan was so Tenag stays in a job. But, um, oh dear, win that. Well in, what, more? well in, well in, well in. Right, can we break now? Tell. Well done, you've given it to Keane. Keane's given it to Lang. Lang, what can you do with it? Good ball out there to Bennett. Go on, Bennett, you've got a bit of space here. Uh, we need someone in the middle as an option. Well done, Keane, that's you. Keen, oh, unlucky Keen, unlucky, unlucky, right, though. We, I feel we can get back into this game. It's just if we actually do or not is another question. Oh, no, here come Huddersfield again. What a challenge, what more? Flatchage. Oh, okay, that was close. That was bloody close. Right, here we go. Lang, 
Yes, you found Tell. Tell has found Keen. Keen has found Romo. A good run from Romo. Romo! Yes! That is how to respond, guys. Romo with the goal from midfield. A lovely run from Romo. And to be fair, a lovely bit of play from the boys. And right, Tell, we're going to have to bring on Fletcher. A bit of fresh legs up front. We're not settling for one point today, guys. We want all three. And if we want all three, we're going to have to try and score another goal. Well, we're not going to have to try and score another goal. We're going to have to score another goal if we want three points today. Right, Alex Scott, that is not the right foot to get off with Vlachic's. Yes, well done, Vlachic. <laughs> that sounded funny to say then, Vlachic's. <laughs> but right, here we go. Alex Scott, what can you do with it? You're waiting for the run of someone. Vega's made a run. Go on, Vega. Well done. Look at Will Keane. Will Keane's made a good run. Oh, it's good defending, though, there from the Huddersfield boys. Ten minutes left, guys. Ten minutes left. Can Watmer get out to him? Bennett. Okay, come on, Bennett. Don't let Thomas pass you. Well done, Bennett. Oh, no. It's a good ball. Corker, you've got to get... Oh, no, Sedman's green. It's not even Corker. I apologise, Corker. You're sat on the bench going, what on earth have I done? <laughs> right, here we go. Fletcher. 84th minute now. What can you do with it, Fletcher? Oh, Fletcher, you've got the touch of a donkey. What was that? Jesus Christ, come on. We've got to try and score another goal. And he's doing touches like that. You've just come on. You can't even say you're knackered. You've just come on. Right, here we go, boys. Here we go. It has to be now. It has to be, has to be, has to be now. Here we go. Will Key, what can you do with it? Look for the run of Fletcher. Go on, Fletcher. You've found Romo. Come on, Romo. What can you do with it? Romo. He's found the run of Fletcher. Go on, Fletcher. Play it across. And we've scored in the 92nd minute. Wilkie comes up clutch. And we will be taking the three points. And back to Wigan, guys. Wigan Athletic 2. Huddersfield Town 1. Oh, my goodness gracious me. We have secured it, guys. We have managed, I don't even know how, in the last minute of a game... To secure the three points for us. It's a big three points for Wigan Athletic. And that was the final kick of the game. It happened to us in the live stream where we lost with the final kick of the game against Sunderland. We've turned it round and now we've won with the final kick of the game. That is very good, boys. Well done, well done. A good 2-1 win there. Last win of the game. Whew, that was very, very good. And after that dramatic performance, guys, we are in the Carabao Cup round of 16 against Carlisle. So we're going to go with our cup squad. It's only fair we go with our cup squad, guys. We're going to stick with our cup squad. We're against Carlisle, so it won't be an easy game. We are away. We are away. So, you know, they could have the home advantage. Well, they do have the home advantage. Not could have friends. <laughs> they do have. Here's Evan Ferguson, though. The man, the myth, the legend. The Carabao Cup top goal scorer. With eight goals so far in this campaign. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad whatsoever. But Carlisle are going to be up for it. So we've got to respond well. And here we are. We've got the kickoff, guys. Can we go ahead and get into the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup? If we can do that, guys, as Wigan Athletic, that will certainly be quite good. And that's how to start off with Evan Ferguson, guys. The guy is a goal machine. It's 1-0 to the Latics already. Four minutes gone. I don't think anybody can stop Evan Ferguson. He, he's just too good. Adiko's found the ball well there. He's giving it to Evan Ferguson. Oh, what a save. What a save, guys. My God, that is some save. But right, it's still not over. Ferguson is giving it to Power. Oh, another save. Oh, my life. What a... Two saves like that in the space of two minutes. Jesus, this keeper's on something, guys. He needs to be drug tested after this game. My lord, he needs to be drug tested. They are two unbelievable saves to keep Carlisle in it. It's still a 1-0 to the Latics, though. Or is it? Because Alex Scott has scored the second. Try and save that one, keeper. It's 2-0 now. So we're going to Athletic. Alex Scott, what are you doing? What on earth is that celebration? <laughs> it's 2-0 to Wigan Athletic. Alex Scott with the goal. 
Here we go. This is a little bit more normal of the boys, but I suppose we are in the Carabao Cup and we are against an opposition who, on paper, we are better than. No! I was silent! <laughs> I was too busy playing! Oh no, I tried to clear it! Oh dear, I'm sorry I was silent there guys, I was, I was really focusing then, trying not to concede, and <laughs> it's 2-1 now to Wigan Athletic, can we get an instant response though, here we go, Scully, you're on the ball, look at Evan, Evan's made a good run, he's giving it your back, Scully, oh, unlucky Scully, unlucky, but it's 2-1 to Wigan Athletic at half time, a lapsing concentration there at the end of the first half means we do not have a clean sheet. Adiko, you've won that well. Give it to Scully. Go on, Scully. Give it to Ferguson. You've got space, Evan! And that is how we start the second half. Evan Ferguson with another goal. His 10th goal in the Carabao Cup, guys. His 10th goal is 3-1 to Wigan Athletic now. Here we go. It's much more like it from the boys. 10 goals in four matches. That is unreal, guys. That is unreal form. But right, we don't want to get too complacent, though, either. Get across. Well in. Good block there, guys. Good, good block. All right, Evan. Do you know what, Evan? Go again. Oh, unlucky. Whelan got in the way. And we're against Reading. Okay. Our next game of the episode, and our final game of the episode, will be against Reading. But we need to concentrate against Carlisle now, guys, because they are here on the break with a goal. Oh, it's a penalty. Apparently, what's happened here? Let's have a look, see what happens. Okay, you've gone for the block tip. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry a minute. Well, look at this. Right, yeah, you've given him a... Right, here we go. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Let's, let's get a close-up, shall we? Here we go. So, the ball's been played there. Let's have a look what happens here. So, the ball's been played... Tell went to try and block it. He's not touched his man so far. He's still not touched his man. He's all right. He then dives. What is it around now? Look at him in the far bit of your screen. He he dives of nothing. Watch. He's fine. You can carry on running. He then just jumps to the ground. Ben Amos makes a good save. This should never. And yes, I have gone five at the back, guys. I want to try and win this game. <laughs> <laughs> I have gone to five at the back because Alex Scott also needed taking off. And it's gone straight down the middle. It's 3-2. That, hmm, that's dodgy. That's dodgy refereeing. I need to check the payroll, referee. I need to check your payroll because it looks like you might have been lended a few extra quid there by the Carlisle fans. Maybe even Carlisle themselves because that is a little bit dodgy, mister. That is a little bit dodgy. But anyway... We're still winning. It is 3-2, so it is closer. But we've still got that victory under our belt for now. We just need to make sure stuff like that doesn't happen again. I go on, Dariqua. Look at that ref. Look at them trying to get into me there. Evan Ferguson for the hat trick. It's easy as that, guys. You want to come at us, Carlisle? You try. We've got the skill. We've got Evan Ferguson who can deal with you. And you know what? It's a deserved 4-2 lead now, back for the Latics. We're leading again. We've got a little bit of a cushion behind us as well. And can we make it five? Go on, Scully, lad. Go on, Scully. Look at Evan in the middle if you can. Oh, unlucky, Scully, unlucky. But 72 minutes gone. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We can't guarantee, but hopefully we are winning this game. Look at Evan. Evan has found power. Bang, but he's offside. Unlucky power, unlucky. It could have been five, but unfortunately, he's just strayed slightly offside power. You just strayed slightly offside. But don't worry, because you've won it back here, though. Power. Oh, he tried to find Evan Ferguson there. But look at this right now, guys. We just don't want to concede again. Don't concede again, and we've won the game with a bit of a margin as well. Here we go. Well in tilt. You know what? That's a lovely bit of reading there. A deco. Wait for the run of Scully. Go on, Scully. Nine minutes left in this game. Do you know what? We're just going to count the clock down. Here we go. Edmunds Green to Kerr. Here we go, guys. We want to secure this victory. We don't want to put ourselves at risk too much. Adiko. Go on, Adiko. Bang! 
Oh, do you know what, Adiko? That's not too bad. It's a good win there. Go on, Evan. Go on, Evan. Oh, it's a good interception as well. But it looks like, guys, we have come out 4-2 victors. Or it could be 4-3. I don't want to speak too soon yet. Yeah. And no, the referee has blown. He let an extra minute and a half go. But we were 4-2 victors. And we're into the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup, guys. You know what? You can't complain when you're in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup, can you? And for the final game of today's episode, guys, we are at the DW Stadium against the mighty Reading. We've gone back with our starting 11, guys, our strongest starting 11. So we've got Vega and Lang on the wings, Tell up front, Keane, Romo and Scott in midfield, with Brandon Williams, Watmer, Corker and Niambi at the back with, obviously, Vlachic in net. Who else, guys? We, of course, Vlachic is going to be in net. He's our captain, guys. He's our captain. And it's a lovely evening now at the DW Stadium. Can we get three wins from three in this episode? I sure hope we can, guys. I hope we can. Hopefully, we are back to winning ways on this career mode series. But as you can see, we're, we're on Legendary, but still, if we can get back to winning ways on Legendary, guys, that is perfect. And right, can we start off well here? Go on, Vega, you've got that. Yes, Vega, well done. We'll take a throw in, Vega. We will certainly take a throw in. Can we find someone? You found Alex Scott. Scott has given it to Romo. Romo! Ooh, it was a, he hit it well, guys. He hit it well, and we've got a corner. Keep on going, says Eric. Keep on going. Romo, with the ball. Oh! Go on! Oh, unlucky Will Keane. He nearly got there. He nearly made it his. But it's a decent start from the boys. Ten minutes in, certainly a decent start. Brandon, what can you do with it? Play it to Tell. Tell! Oh, it's a big interception, guys. It's a massive interception from Hutchinson there. Vega, you've whipped that in well. Keane! <laughs> yes! Just like that, guys. It is all nil. Will Keane with their goal again. A lovely headed finish. A lovely cross from Vega as well. Look at this for a cross, guys. Let's have a look, shall we? Look at that. The keeper tries to come out. Will Keane's in front of him. And Will Keane does what Will Keane does best. And scores again for Wigan Athletic, guys. He scores again for Wigan. It's 1-0 to Wigan. How many minutes have gone? 17 minutes gone. Not a bad start to the final game of today's episode. Lang's on the wing. Go on, Lang. What can you do with it, Lang? What can you do with it? Find Keane in the middle. Keane! It's got to Tell! And it's 2-0! Keane missed his header, but Tell with a lovely run into the box there, and he makes it 2-0, guys. Look at that. Well done, Tell. A lovely finish as well. And it's 2-0 to the Latics at home. I tell you what, they're certain. there's a bit of a groove about them now, guys. Look at that. Tell... On the half volley, obviously, because it bounced once. And bang, into the net. No keepers saving that. It's 2-0 now to Wigan Athletic. Is normality starting to be resumed? I sure hope it is, guys. I sure hope it is. Oh! Oh, my God! I wasn't speaking because I didn't think it would go in! Oh, I'm sorry, it's happened twice in this episode so far. I'm just concentrating. But Romo with the finish. Look at this. Bang. He absolutely twats it into the top left. And it is a 3-0 to Wigan Athletic. I do apologise, guys. I've caught myself out twice so far in today's episode. I do apologise. I do apologise. It's 3-0 now to Wigan Athletic. Holy moly! <laughs> I can't believe I've done that twice. I do apologise, guys. I do apologise. I should um, um, start speaking a little bit more, I suppose. But it's 3-0 now to Wigan Athletic. What a finish from Romo that was, guys. An immense finish to make it 3-0. And surely now, this game has got to be the Latics, guys. Surely Wigan are coming away with three points from this game. I can't see a world where they don't. I certainly can't see a world where they don't. Can we get one more goal, guys, in this game? Can we make it 4-0? We don't want to concede, though. We don't want to concede. We've conceded. We've conceded. 
I, I was meaning me get a goal game, not Reading. Hopefully it's just a consolation goal, guys. Hopefully it's just a consolation goal. Nothing too much. 3-1 now to Wigan. The clean sheet is gone. We do love a clean sheet on this channel. Unfortunately, the clean sheet is gone. But if we can keep it at 3-1, guys, I'll certainly be quite happy. Come on, here we go, ref. Just blow for full time. It was 3-1. Do you know what? Three wins from three after our last episode. We lost four games. We're back to winning ways, guys, I'd say. We are certainly back to winning ways. It, it took us a while to get there, I'd say. But we're 3-1 winners in this game. We beat Carlisle and who else did we beat? Was it Reading? Pardon me, was it Reading? No, we've just played Reading. You idiot, man. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. Who was our first game against? Who was I can't remember who our first game was against. It was against Huddersfield. It was against Huddersfield, guys. We beat Huddersfield as well. You know what? Winning them three games, it's all right, guys. It's all right. We're certainly doing all right. And we'll have a look now and see where we are at in the league table to end off today's episode. We're still third. However, we are one point off top, guys. We are one point off top. Middlesbrough and Watford have both won 12, drawn one, and lost three. Whereas we have won 12, drawn none, and lost four, guys. We also have the joint best goal difference with 17. So if it went to goal difference, we will go ahead of Watford. And it's all to play for in the next episode. We'll start off with a game against the people below us, which are QPR, guys, at Loftus Road. So it's a big one in the next episode. It's a big, big, big episode next episode. But I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all so much for the love and support on the series. It really does mean a lot to me, guys. So thank you ever so much for that. And I will see you in the next Rebuilding Wigan Athletic Career Mode episode. Goodbye, everybody. Up the ticks. Come on.